A grain elevator, in simplest terms, is a place that farmers store grain. In the mid-1800s, these were built about every 10 miles so that farmers in their horse and wagons could get to the elevator, drop off their grain, and get home in the same day. The localness, the togetherness that grain elevators symbolize is significant in Indiana's history. I did not grow up seeing grain elevators. We moved to Indiana when I was in about seventh grade. And in fact, I really didn't notice them until the first one in about 2004. I went and photographed Greenfield's grain elevator and have been drawn to grain elevators really ever since, probably always will be. When I was home with kids for 10 years, that's when I taught myself how to watercolor paint, which was tricky. And so I read books and I watched videos and I practiced and I practiced and pretty much piled up the failures. And um, the first watercolor painting that I actually liked that I produced was of the grain elevator that I photographed in 2004. I think the ones that I want to paint are more picturesque. They might have some unique feature. Um, they might be indicative of that sense of community that the grain elevator symbolizes for a small downtown. They might have some architectural feature that makes it interesting, you know, a little brick wall or a cool door or the shape, sometimes the lighting. There's all kinds of different things that make it paintable to me. I have a little book and it has all the grain elevators that I know about listed by county. So on all the family trips, I can catch them when I can, which, you know, the kids love. But um, there's pretty much a hundred left on my list that I thought might be still out there. But the last trips I've taken in the last several years have ended in the grain elevator being already demolished. And once they're gone, they're gone. They're not building them anymore. The Bicentennial Legacy Project was developed by the state of Indiana to help celebrate Indiana's 200th birthday. I think there were like a thousand projects and people across the state of Indiana could choose to do some project to help celebrate the state. Knowing that once upon a time these were so important to Indiana's story and now they were disappearing, I felt like I wanted to preserve that. I think really the connections are one of the greatest parts of this project. It's not just about the elevator, it's about the people and the connections that they have to this from when they were growing up and the memories that they have and the stories that they have. And I would get calls from shocking amounts of people that have stories that they want to tell. Sometimes architecture just gets demolished and we don't really know why. And I think people felt like that this was really cool that in, in this way I was helping preserve these grain elevators that were so important to them in their farming backgrounds, in their families, in their communities, in their childhoods. And they were just so appreciative. Communities have turned grain elevators into hotels and museums and breweries and all sorts of things. So I think the sky's the limit for somebody with some imagination and some interest in helping preserve the structure. I think that my paintings help people appreciate them. And appreciation is the first thing that people need before preservation or restoration. So in that regard, I am involved in helping promote preservation of these great structures.